back to the Travis Brown coaching YouTube channel. So today is more of a vlog. We're going to break down a few of the things that we're doing. But today, this video is all about how I went to Poland, Gdansk, to chase a podium, to chase a flag. So it's Travis Brown. <laughs> So you'll see how we got on with that um, and you will already know um, what's gone on and how, how we finished up. But we are telling you and we are coming here to sort of talk about what we're going to do, what sort of food that we have, what sort of packing and planning and prepping goes into it. And we're going to basically vlog the day. So we are um, now on Friday. So we are two days out from race day. We're traveling over to Poland tomorrow. So we're setting off from Stansted um, on Saturday. Uh, we land sort of mid-afternoon Poland time um, and then we'll sort of go through what we're going to do there. We're going to talk through a bit of breakfast, we're going to talk through a bit of prep, get as much of the race as we can as well as sort of giving you some strategies and tips about how I did it. But the main thing about this video today is we are going to be vlogging it um, more so than just being instruction. We want you to see how it pans out and kind of what my prep looks like and what I do. Um, so if you are tuning in for the first time, a little bit of background about me. Um, I have now done four high roxes. We did London XL in November. We did uh, Katowice in February, Glasgow in March, and we just come off the back of Olympia in early May. Um, so we've got better and better. We did a 119, a 106, a 106, and then a 102, um, and officially qualified for the World Championships. So this is two weeks before the World Championships um, in the men's open division. We haven't done any pro weight, so the target for uh, Gdansk is to basically go over, get another flag, capture that, get on the podium um, and hopefully turn that number two into a number one. So stick with us, watch what the weekend looks like, enjoy the show um, and make sure you drop any comments uh, below and subscribe to the channel because we'll be sending and giving much more instructional information um, and tips all around High Rocks and how you can boost your performance, whether it's in High Rocks, running, in the gym or just transforming your body as well. <laughs> So this is the kit lay uh, for the race that we've got coming up. So obviously, as always, because we're in a foreign country, we're going to be taking some carbs with me. Um, never know what you're going to be able to access. Um, so we've got two of those bad boys. Uh, accessories, we've got uh, spiky ball, um, which is basically going to be used as a foam roller the whole time. Uh, big up Florian for letting me borrow his because it's bigger. So it saves me taking a foam roller. Uh, resistance band as well, because um, that will allow me to get a good solid warm up. The trusty freeze roll-on spray from Pure Sport, which is always used, and of course electrolytes to keep ourselves hydrated. Particularly important when you're flying, guys. Keep that in. So flights can dehydrate you, so make sure you've got some in. Um, SIS gels, I'll take a couple of these with me um, on the way round. I usually chuck one in after the sled pull and then after the rower as well. Um, and then lately in my high rocks race, I've been finding myself getting a little bit crampy towards the end. So um, this is just a bit of a pro plus. I won't necessarily take this. It's just if I'm feeling particularly flat. Um, but we have the bad boys, the double trouble jelly babies. Each one of those sweets has about 10 grams of carbs. So if you take two of those with you um, on the race, then obviously you are going to feel nice and fueled. Um, and that is going to be the little secret sauce that we're going to use to stop the cramp as well. Um, a couple of bits that I always use. I know it's very cliche in high rocks now, but obviously um, sweatbands, particularly if you're not wearing a T-shirt, it can be nice um, to obviously have something to wipe. And obviously the bad boy Sockenies, um, the Endorphin Pro 4s. So I've been loving those. Some very cliche socks on the front. You can do anything. It's now or never. So, you know, when you're gunning for some podiums, it's good to look good. And then just the running shorts, which obviously have the undershorts. And they have a zip pocket. They have pocket in there. And they also have a pocket on the undershort as well. So I can carry that fuel around um, and obviously not make or make sure I'm not feeling too rough. Uh, and then the only thing that will add to that basically for race day is a um, pack of chewing gum. Race courses get very dry, the high rocks. Um, so having some chewing gum uh, whilst you're going around can help keep your mouth nice and moist and uh, keep you in check. So that's the kit list. We're going to get that packed, pack up the rest of the stuff, and um, I will see you on the other side.
Good morning. The morning of the High Rocks. So, as you saw, we've obviously flown over, we've travelled, we've explored uh, Gdansk last night. Beautiful city, by the way, like really nice, and it was lovely and warm. Um, we, ate, uh, we ate out a couple of times just in order to get my cards out. So sorry to Beth, who's also on shoot prep at the moment, because um, that was difficult for her to navigate. But a lovely city, really beautiful. Um, I'm really looking forward to exploring more of it, actually, um, after today. So the time is 25 past seven. So we are just up. I've been up for about 25 minutes now. I've had a shower and stuff. Um, and we're just going to hold off a little bit before getting our breakfast in. So we're looking to get some food down around eight o'clock. Um, If you guys have followed me uh, for a while, you'll all know what time it is. So any of the YouTubes that you've watched before, it's always two of those before a big event. A couple of reasons, it's gonna give me about 60 grams of carbs. It tastes nice, little bit of protein. Um, and also I know it's gonna go through me before the event and uh, that might be disgusting. But as we know, if it's not broken, we don't fix it. So that's on the agenda. So this morning, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little bit of a stretch, um, a little bit of a roll out with the uh, spiky ball. Um, which, huge shout out to Florian, my physio, Euphoria Sports Therapy. So if you're local to Peterborough and you ever need your body fixing, he's your guy, because he gave me his spiky ball for the weekend as well, because mine was smaller. Um, and yeah, so what we'll do today is we'll take you over to the venue. Um, we will have a, well, we'll show you around the venue, show you the bit of the atmosphere this morning. Um, Tam and Marlena are rating, so we'll, um, we're gonna, gonna collar them as well. Um, and then you will catch up with me just before I race off. Um, and then, like I said before, the plan, the aim of the game is if I don't leave today with a flag, um, then I'll be a little bit disappointed in my performance. Now, whilst I can't control who else turns up, the goal is to make sure I'm, I'm hitting the same similar time that I achieved in London a couple of weeks ago, which is a 102, 103, um, and then anything better in a three week improvement will be sound. Um, and then obviously two weeks into Nice. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, follow us, keep watching. Um, we'll give you a breakdown of the warm up. We'll, we'll talk you through a few bits and then you will see the race unfold before your very own eyes. Cause, uh, see what, the, what happens.
a flag 103.50 which is not ultimately I'm not happy with my performance and kind of everything but I'll kind of debrief that to the second part of the video and we'll talk about kind of what went right what went wrong but the video was all about coming to Poland getting a flag which is what we got um, and it sets us up nicely for two weeks in uh, Nice so we did it we captured the flag we got the number three which I would like to have been better so I think at this point, I wanted to sort of just remind people that obviously everyone has different goals. You could be watching this as the first time trying to understand what goes into podium in a high rocks or you've done it yourself um, or something like that. But something I just wanted to touch base on is something that I preach to my clients all the time about running their own race. And there'll be a particular couple of clients that are watching this now that go, yeah, that's me. Um, and I failed at that. So you may have seen on my social media or things like that, that I wasn't particularly happy with my result at the weekend. So whilst one of my goals was to get on the podium, one of the other goals was to get to sub one hour two. Um, and then the other golden goal would have been to to win, basically, well, to win my age group. And and actually, I let myself down by getting two in my own head. This, this race came with a lot of pressure, perhaps pressure that it didn't need to be. Uh, pressure that I put on myself, not from anyone else, that where I decided that it was going to be that I'm going to go and achieve these goals and 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 maybe I just didn't treat it with enough respect. And when it then started on the podium, or not on the podium, in the start zone where I was looking around thinking these boys look quick, um, which I was right. It turns out 12 of the top 15 on the race day all started in the same wave as myself. Um, thankfully, I was clinging on to that record as well. Um, but ultimately, I went in, I went too fast. I did my first kilometre way too fast. I did my skill way too fast. And from there on in, it was clinging on for dear life. And I didn't have any fun with it for the whole time. I just wanted it to be finished. I had a torrid time on the sleds um, and just a number of things. And basically, that's what has happened. It's I've gone out too hot. I've overcooked it. I've suffered. I've ruined my race, one, for enjoyment, but two, the potential that could have gone on to speed up over the second part of the race which is actually where i'm fastest so a real valuable lesson there coming into the world um in a couple of weeks time in 10 days time from the recording of this video and the posting of this video um where you know i'm going to be in amongst the standard that is is higher than where i'm at and that's where we want to be so we're going to have a look good long look at the the race season and kind of the things that we want to do um in terms of what happens next season um, but ultimately, we're going to go over to Nice um, and just have some fun, sort of. Um, and, you know, there's no expectations, but I still want to do well. And I know that the best way I'm going to do well is by focusing on running my own race and, and doing it from there. So thank you for watching. If you are looking to take on High Rocks, whether you are a beginner, whether it's honing your technique, whether it's taking minutes off your PB, then it's time to reach out because we are doing unthinkable things here at the game plan. We've got podiums, we've got multiple world championship qualifiers, we've got multiple top 10 in age categories, and we are going to be taking more and more people through it. So if you're looking to race in the 24-25 season and you're looking to take your game up a level, then drop me a message on Instagram at Travis Brown Coaching and let's get you rocking and ready.